Well, Martin, big day coming tomorrow. Pile driver coming here to, to Saudi for his prep for Dubai. Um, how's he travelled over and uh, how much are you looking forward to tomorrow night? Really looking forward to it, really excited. Uh, great to be here, great to be involved in such a big meeting on the world stage. Uh, couldn't be happier with the horse. He's travelled over well and funny enough, I think he's improved on and learnt on his experience in Hong Kong because that was his first time travelling abroad and um, I think he's learnt from that and he's took everything in stride so far and uh, everything's great with him. Have you done anything different as regards how he's travelled and, and what you've done with him while he's been here to learn from what you managed to garner in Hong Kong? No, not really. We've kept the same regime but the horse just seems to have settled in quicker. Um, he lost quite a bit of weight on the journey over to Hong Kong. Obviously it's a bit further than here but this time he didn't lose as much weight and he's kept his weight steady and, uh, and he's happier and healthier and brighter. Um, but we've kept the same regime and I did, a, I did a bit of work on the turf yesterday, which was literally just putting the final touches on him and uh, he looks great. And William's made no secret of just how high in regard he holds this horse. We didn't get to see him so much last year. I mean, this could be the year to, to really sort of show the world what he can do. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, it was a bit frustrating. Obviously, he won his Group 1 in June. At Epsom, uh, which was fantastic, and we were looking forward then to kicking on. And unfortunately, he had a setback, so he missed the second half of the season. So um, his next run then was at the end of the year in Lingfield, and then Hong Kong, and here. And hopefully, we've got a fresh horse with uh, less miles on the clock and uh, ready to go to war with. And do you feel he's still an improving horse, Martin, from from last year? Again, I mean, could he step forward again this year? I hope so, yeah, and, and physically he's strengthening up. He's, he's always been quite a tall, lean horse, and now he's really putting some, some, uh, some beef on and, and looking bigger and stronger, and hopefully we've got a good couple of years ahead with him for sure. You touched on his, his run at Epsom on coronation, in the Coronation Cup, and not just a, a group on win, but he had to really show guts and determination to win that. He showed a lot of tenacity that day. He battled, and it was a, um, it was a strange run race, wasn't it? And, um, he, uh, he can be quite wayward in his races, but on that score, I think he's growing up as well, and, and that was a learning curve for him. He got the rail and he battled on. He could have easily thrown in the towel and got beat, but he, uh, he was really determined and came back. So, yeah, we feel he's, he's, a, he's getting stronger and he's improving mentally, mentally and physically, so fingers crossed. You had the choice tomorrow between the Saudi Cup and the, the Neom Turf. What's made you come back to the, the nine furlongs on the turf as opposed to the, the mile and a quarter on the dirt? Well, I think... William and the owners, they decided to enter him in both just to see. Because, you know, I mean, it's the biggest race in the world. I mean, why wouldn't you enter in it? And you know, to have a horse good enough to even be thinking of running a race like that is, is the dream. So he was entered in it, but then, on, you know, when looking at the conditions and the horses coming in for it, a mile and one on the dirt is not really his bag. And um, with the quality of the opposition, they thought it would be better to stick to stick to what you know, we know he's good at. And... Um, Go for the turf. I mean, this is a stepping stone to Dubai. William was very much uh, honest about how ready the horse was for his first start back at Newmarket last year. How much do you think he's got to improve this start heading out to Maiden? Well, like I say, he's he's improving with each run from from the end of last year. So, yeah, the the, the aim is a Shima Classic. It's a big race, but equally, this is a, this is a big race too. Um, so, from from my perspective, it's one step at a time, but. We're really positive with the horse and we think he's, he's got um, plenty ahead of him. So it's exciting. It's just exciting to be involved in these kind of meetings. And what have you made of racing here in Saudi over the last couple of years? This meeting coming from zero sort of three years ago to be here now with the sort of fields we've got looking forward to tomorrow. I know it's amazing, isn't it, really, how far they've come in a short period of time. It's my first experience, my first time here. And I mean, the track is very impressive. The turf is, is lovely. Uh, Michael Pross has done a great job and... Um, it, it's an amazing track, so I think it's, you know the, the quality they're attracting is, um, is is pretty unreal, really. But I suppose if you're going to put that much money on on offer, people are going to come from all over the world, aren't they?